Watch it. Let these guys get in, and then you're going to get in. But I've done this with Shea. I've done it with Jamal. I've done it with five or six other guys that I've coached. Um, and, uh, you know, but I'm happy for him. He is the greatest kid. He's like Jamal Murray with the smile. He smiles like Ashton steals the ball from him. He's smiling. What are you smiling about? Don't smile. Be mad. Make a face. Do something. And he just smiles. I'm a good coach. You know, he's a great kid. John, there, there was a period late uh, with the game pretty much in doubt that you had uh, Tyrese out there by himself in Ashton City. Was that just to get Ashton rest? He, he was hurt. His leg has been bothering him for about four or five days. But he's such – I don't know if you saw whoever we played. He got el knee kicked in the head. And if you saw it, you would have said, wow. And he just kind of bounced up and go, he is really tough. For him to say his leg is bothering him and we had the MRI, we've done everything, there's nothing there. It's more of a strain, a muscle thing. Um, and I just kept telling him, look, take yourself out. Tell me when you're ready to go. And that last free throw he made – he looked at me like, take me out, and EJ ran out. So he stayed on the court. But he's, he's, he's a really mentally, physically tough kid. Coach, you mentioned maybe playing three guards. How much do you like that small lineup and how tough it would be for opponents to defend that? Well, we got to figure out how we play offensively because I didn't like what we did offensively. I mean, I'd like to do some dribble drive stuff from it where you have all these perimeter guys that can also shoot. Um, but we just have to, we, we haven't, we've had 20, most of our practices, I hope you see that we've tried to make it about defense because we got all freshmen and we're trying to get them to buy into how you have to play to win big time games. John, what do you think it says about Tyrese that Michigan State came back, they, they competed, final minute, I think it was a one possession game, he hits the big three there. That says he's a pretty good player. A lot of courage. How different are you feeling from a year ago when I remember I asked you the question about it was your worst loss at Kentucky? And tonight. Well, I told these guys, look, I've been on all sides of this. We beat Kansas by 106 one year. We beat, I think we were up on UCLA, 55 to 7. We got beat by 68 last year. Um, in all those years of what we're talking about, at the end of the year, we were one of those teams. And that's all this is. This was a learning experience for all four teams here. And it's like you're learning about your team. And I, I grabbed Norby Williamson and I said, Norby, there are other games on November 5th now. Can't we move this a week back and let us all get two games in before we have to walk into this arena and this men venue and have these young kids have to perform? And they're not as good as this game, though. For ESPN, so don't, he's don't like, you think this is good though for for college basketball to start off? What's good for college basketball if we start playing in August? Each of us get seven days, play against each other in exhibition games in August when it's down, and we bring back this like spring football. We do college basketball in August. I've been begging for it for years. We have. The NBA Summer League, we have three on three, we have the $2 million league, we have all this. That would pump up. There's nothing going on in August. You could go the first 10 days of August, maybe the last couple days of July, every weekend for weekends. You give the SEC, the ACC, all these television networks get content. You could have a quadruple header, play four games in Atlanta. Here we go. I mean, and, and they're all exhibition games. And they're in August when people want to watch. Fans want to be there. But then they would say, well, how does that benefit Kentucky? It must be a benefit to Kentucky. <laughs> Why? I'm not, I'm not for it. He's for it. I'm just saying we got to do something because everyone is overtaking what college basketball is. And this is a great event. But then what happens next? We just need to build the whole thing to where people are watching. And I say this. So we use August to go on foreign tours, which were all about it was for academics, education. No one cared. They got 10 days of practice, and they took a team. If the players said, hey, I want to go, stop, we're playing tonight. You're not doing anything. It's just about playing, so let's, let's all play. Why have 25 teams play? Let every team play. Or you don't even play scrimmages. But we play in August to get our sport started even before football. 
Tom are resisting the urge to ask you why not come out strongly against August. If and I did it, do it, we would start. Yes. It would be, it's like, who's the kid right. that said about we're starving? And they gave us the kids food? That's yeah, so he said we're starving, and within a week, we all of a sudden were giving them food. I'm telling you, I'd hate that August thing. That would be the worst thing. Don't even think about August. Now, the real question, please. You, you don't play a, a, a team like Michigan State for several Good. weeks now. Good. What, what do you hope to get Good. accomplished in those next four months? I need Khalil and Keon. I mean, can you imagine their first game out of the boat? Here they, they play. How about Johnny Juzang got, didn't play in the second half? How about... We play different lineups where we play a smaller line. It gives me a chance to get all these kids to play and figure out who. My job is to help each of these kids. I'm not just coaching five. So how I do that is in these other games now following up. Now, we could lose those games. I'll be honest, I don't even know who we play next. I knew we had to. Who is it? Eastern Kentucky. Okay, we good? The Manistee. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. To walk through in the, in the regular practice. How did you feel like that? Um, might have felt a little, a little shaky at the beginning, but after like a couple going up and down, getting to the rhythm of the game, it started to feel a little better. My mind was about off it. Ashton, there's so much just hype surrounding you and Cassius in the matchup, you being you know, a very defensive player and being really good on offense. How do you feel in the matchup going through this personally? I feel like I did okay. Uh, could have did better, but you know, I just try to stick to the game plan. Uh, whatever to do, try to get this W, and you know that happened. Is there anything that surprised you about this game? Oh, um, nah. Every, everybody was telling me he was a smart guard. He showed that today. Everybody showed me that he can get in the lane. He showed that, and he was going to shoot the open jumper if he had it. And he showed that. Uh, but you know, we just stick to the game plan. You know, we was trying to help hold him with with our big, and that's what we did. Tyrese, it was a close. I, thought, I assume you thought something like this would come from Tyrese at some point. Are you a little surprised? Um, this big on this first night of the season? Well, I expect that from Tyrese. You know, he was doing that at high school, AAU. Um, you know, and, and coach been telling me he he had called me in the office before practice. You know, get after him. You know, me and him been competing. Quick been competing, Johnny, and that's what, that that he brought that to the court today, and that's what we gonna need for our team to be at our best. Tyrese, how would you describe the way in which you impacted the game, not just scoring, but also, especially late in the game, rebounding? Uh, one thing I'll say is spirit. Ashton was on me, and Nate was on me about uh, my spirit, just being happy, being smiling, uh, boosting up my teammates, and that's one thing I feel like I did. Uh, rallied us, helped us get rebounds, really we took to win. What, what's the part of this night that you're going to remember the most? Looking up at the zeros and seeing that we... We're ahead of the other team, <laughs> and we won. And uh, just being happy with my teammates. We grinded all summer. We did a lot of conditioning, a lot of stuff that you know that we didn't like, that we didn't agree with, but it paid off in the end. Cool over here on the left, Ninja. Ashton, what does it mean to be a high quality opponent in your opening game here? Oh, uh, you know, just to go out there and know that everybody gonna go out and give us our all, and you know we got to stick together the whole forty, and that's what we did. And does this take away totally the Duke game from last year to beat number one? Oh, uh, that would, that been in the past, you know. Last year we put that in the past. You know, we tried. We had a good season uh, after that. After that loss, um, but our main focus this one, this time, was just go out there and have a fight, be aggressive. You know, go out there and be the aggressive first, hit them first, and, and that's what it was. Take two more, Jeff. Yeah, that was kind of going to be my question for both you guys, <laughs> Nick and, and Ashton, about just the difference. What was the difference in emotions from a year ago at this time when you're coming off the court and, and kind of how do you guys feel right now? Uh, I know no. you kind of just answered it, it, but if you can. Last year, you know, we got we got pounded. Uh, you know, it was, we lost to a good Duke team. Um, but, you know, like I said, main focus, you know, stick to the game plan. You know, do what the coaches was telling us. You know, we going hard at practice. We was competing against each other very hard. So go out there and do it against the number one team. And, and uh, Tyrese, right at the end of the game, I think they cut it to three, or it was a close game, and you came down and hit the three to kind of seal it. What, what, what kind of guts does it take to you know take a shot like that in that pressure situation? <clears throat> well, honestly, I just trust my training. Coach Cal always told me I put in the work, uh, get up at six o'clock every morning, 
and uh, I took that shot a thousand times. I shot it a thousand times in high school, shot it a thousand times this summer, and uh, I have confidence in myself because I put in the work, and I felt like uh, he dropped his back foot, and I knew I was going to knock it down. Yeah, time for one final one. I just wanted to ask you, uh, you scored more points uh, than any freshman under John Calipari uh, at Kentucky with 26 tonight. Uh, did this feel like a normalized situation here? Do you feel like you were rising to the moment given the garden? Did you really feed off that energy? Uh, I feel like Coach Cal told me a couple of days before the game and today, he told me, uh, be ready as soon as you get in. He said, um, you you know what you've done. You know what you do. You do it. Work on it uh, every day, every morning at six a.m. And uh, like I said, I just I just went out there and play. He said, "Go out there and play basketball. Don't think about anything else." And that's what I did. Had a lot of fun. All right, thanks, guys.